Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and promulgated Law Number no. 20 of 2022 on amending Article 5 of Decree by Law Number no. 13 of 1977 with respect to constructional organization of buildings following its approval by the Shura and Representatives Councils. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan on his country's Independence Day. His Majesty King Hamad wished His Majesty King Abdullah health and happiness and the Jordanian people further progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King praised the deep relations between the two countries and people and their steady progress. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the BCCI Board of Directors members headed by Samir Nas on the occasion of restructuring the new Board of Directors in its 30th session. His Majesty the King praised the vital role of the BCCI in enhancing the commercial and industrial sectors and affirmed that it is an active partner in the development of the kingdom and its various sectors. His Majesty congratulated the members for their election and for earning the trust of the commercial and industrial sectors and wish them all success in their march of development. His Majesty praised the efforts of the BCCI and affirmed that thanks to the unity of the people of Bahrain, the economic recovery was achieved. He also praised the achievements of the executive and legislative authorities in this regard and hailed the efforts of all in ensuring the comprehensive economic development. His Majesty added that the values of Bahrain and the keenness and unity of its people is what helped achieve economic sustainability and stability. His Majesty also praised the role of Bahraini business figures in supporting investments in numerous projects that helped in enhancing the status of the kingdom on the regional and international levels. His Majesty pointed out to the rich history of the BCCI and its contributions in supporting the forward march of the kingdom, wishing them all success. The BCCI chairman expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty's directives and aim to, that aim to enhance the work of the BCCI as well as activating the role of the private sector in achieving sustainable development goals. He affirmed that His Majesty's follow-up on the work of the chamber affirms his keenness in supporting the business environment and overcome all challenges. He added that the BCCI is keen on achieving the aspirations of His Majesty the King to achieve economic development as well as enhance the role of the private sector in enhancing growth investments and create job opportunities in order to achieve the economic vision of 2030. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace Sheikh Rashid bin Abdurrahman bin Rashid Al Khalifa on the occasion of the issuance of the royal decree appointing him as the capital governor where he took oath before His Majesty. His Majesty the King congratulated Sheikh Rashid hailing his experience and competency which qualify him to fully carry out his new duties wishing him success. His Majesty emphasized the importance of fulfilling the needs of the capital governorate citizens and of developing services provided to them affirming that Bahraini citizens will remain the priority for being the main pillar of development and progress in the kingdom. His Majesty the King also highlighted the governor's efforts, which are appreciated by all, hailing the importance of the governorates in bolstering national unity and establishing the values of citizenship, cooperation and communication between all categories of the Bahraini community. The capital governor expressed thanks and appreciation and gratitude to His Majesty the King for the royal trust and for his directives, expressing aspiration to meet His Majesty's expectations in carrying out his national duty to serve the kingdom and its people. He wished His Majesty abundant health and happiness.
The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawziya Zainal, received the Ambassador of Azerbaijan to Bahrain residing in Riyadh, Shaheen Abdullayev. Zainal praised the historical and growing relations between Bahrain and Azerbaijan under the Comprehensive Development March led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. She lauded the common denominators shared by both countries, which can further enhance bilateral relations and promote economic, trade, and investment exchange. The Speaker from the keenness of the legislative branch to support boosting relations between both countries, noting the readiness of both parties to activate the agreement signed by them and enhance comprehensive cooperation. The ambassador expressed his country's keenness on further cooperation and coordination with Bahrain, commending the pioneering role of the kingdom in achieving stability in the region and its remarkable presence in regional and international parliamentary gatherings. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, participated in a discussion session on the current economic situation and prospects for economic growth in Bahrain, the Middle East and North Africa, which was held as part of the annual meeting of the World Economic Forum 2022 in Davos. Sheikh Salman affirmed that the rise in international oil prices is a positive factor that requires continuing economic diversification efforts and strengthening initiatives that support increasing the contributions of non-oil sectors to the GDP to reach the desired development goals. The minister highlighted the launch of Bahrain's economic development plan in last October. He stressed the importance of investing in human capital as a main driver and an important element in the process of economic growth. He pointed out the importance of supporting initiatives, innovations and creative ideas of the human elements and recalled the efforts made by Bahrain in this field. Sheikh Salman noted the importance of continuing to invest in areas that contribute to boosting economic growth, including financial technology, and said that financial services is a promising industry in Bahrain and Gulf countries. The minister stressed the importance of achieving common goals in the field of energy transition, stressing that Bahrain has taken many measures to improve environmental protection and ensure the provision of an environment that promotes sustainable development for the benefit of future generations. And Bahrain, represented by Bahrain Post under the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, ranked first in International Express Mail Service, EMS, for the year 2021, according to the EMS indicators of the Universal Postal Union. The head of information and postal rights, Abdullah Hassan al Asmi, received the award and was honored among a select group of members, operators, who all provided high levels of service to their clients on the sidelines of the General Assembly meeting held recently in the Swiss capital. On the occasion, the Assistant Undersecretary for Bahrain Post at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, Sheikh Bard bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, expressed pride in the achievements, stressing that it comes as a result of the directives of His Majesty the King to raise the Kingdom's status in various fields.